So welcome to the members area. So to access, you log in and then you click Access Hub. What you'll find at the beginning of the members area is this part that changes each month. So hello, September, we're in September. I always recommend that people have a look at the calendar. It, this gets updated. It allows you to sign in if you have an account, but you can access it as a guest. And then you just put this in your diary to ones that you would like to attend. The release and restore is the other wellbeing sessions. You have training, you have um, coffee mornings, lots and lots of opportunity for learning and support, to be fair. So the other things on here that you'll find um, are articles for you to have a look at. I try not to make them long because I, no one's got time to read long articles. Um, they are always focused on social, emotional, mental health. I will always base them on body based, emotional based, social based, you know, they follow a pattern. You will also see, as we scroll down, based on the membership that you have chosen, access to the recorded training and live events. So I'm basing it on the fact that you've chosen the gold membership. Okay, so you have attachment, emotions, restorative behaviors of concern, neurodiversity. So I just go up for a second. So you've got autism, um, executive functions, ADHD, you have guest speakers and you have uh, dyslexia. We have physical health. So this is gut health. Ultimately, the gut and the brain are connected. It's the way it is. And then sensory. All right. So that covers what is available to access right now. Then you have, based on the calendar, that beautiful sunshine coming through, based on the calendar, the live events. So some you will notice you can watch now. I've tried to give a balance between live and recording because we learn in different ways. I like live, I like, it engages me. Recordings, oh, it's, it's really tricky to keep me going. So I like to offer that scope. So you simply would have that to, in your calendar to attend and you click there and it goes directly through the Zoom link. Guest speakers. The guest speakers can be accessed live. You can, if the membership um, is the gold one, you can watch again for 30 days, okay? Then you have um, other sort of training there. That will change each month, that's September. Then you have support. You have a Facebook group, coffee mornings, at the moment, it is through Eventbrite. By the end of the year, it's going to be members only, coffee mornings and well-being events. With the well-being events, just to explain what we do, we will focus on emotional charges, emotions within the system that your body would like to release, to let go, to be free of. We do sort of body-based work tapping, emotional freedom technique. We do bilateral work, which is eye movements, or we do the butterfly, or we do um, sort of movements of the head. We also do a little bit of art, art, not drawing. This is about our subconscious and what it would like to say. We do visualizations. When it comes to visualizations, it's very body-based, grounding, connecting. When you are stressed, when you are finding things really, really hard and you're up here, your body needs to, needs to release that charge because your muscles, it's in your shoulders, it's in your hips, your breath is probably very shallow. It's those sorts of things. It's giving you as a parent respite, 30, 45 minutes of time and it's your time. So I run them twice a month, um, evenings, and I run them in the day. 
and they are your opportunity to spend time for you. Self-care. You cannot support the emotional needs of others until you have the capacity for your own needs first. Can you tell I did the mum voice then? Then we've got whole child approach. To understand that a little bit more, come to the live training. Some training to be aware it's not recorded. That's quite intentional. Um, keeps you focused. So we've got body based emotions. Think of it going up scales, connections, self esteem. So the body based is obviously your gut health, postural stability, all of those things that ensure that we have our children have the best chance to emotionally regulate grounding techniques don't underestimate grounding techniques there's an article that i'll put a link to it there's an article um so i did a pilot uh, project uh, funded project with the school and they use grounding techniques and the results were amazing even i was a little bit like wow okay <laughs> i didn't expect that other strategies, I understand de-escalation, but grounding. Multi-sensory toolkits. What we need, I mean, I'm just going to click on so you, so you know what you get. Um, you're going to get, you'll love me, um, these do get updated, by the way, uh, objectives and resources. They come with resources. Not everybody wants a resource, but it's good to have. I am a uh, believer that, I guess it's the teacher in me, that we learn through our senses of sight and hearing and kinesthetic touch. So I create the resources so that we are doing, seeing, you know, visualize this and pick a card for that and let's have a go at this. And it's that um, opportunity to give them the uh, sort of the empowerment of I will select this, we will do that, it's that kind of thing. Multisensory, interception, gosh, so important, gut health. Then we've got our live events and then we've got our tools. We'll come on to those in a moment. Um, and then articles, the articles link to the objective, body based. Then you've got emotions. Um, connections, shall I click on it? And you've got emotional regulation. And this is uh, focused on helping the nervous system regulate the nervous system. Well being strategies, music, articles. All right, then you've got connection, self esteem, obvious. So for the coaching, if you, if you have chosen the gold membership, you can click through here. So this is a service for you or your child. As a member, you get a free consultation and discounted sessions. Now, um, all you do, so we'll go down, is just click directly through. Okay. When it comes to the, the sort of the coaching, it's time for whatever you would like it to be. Some families use it to help them understand their child. Um, understand a sort of EHCP style process for they're struggling at school. It's about helping them regulate. I also work with a young person. The young person needs to be um, in, in a position, in a place they want to be coached. Not CBT therapy. Just throwing that in. It's not CBT. I use vagus nerve activation, which is calming the nervous system through music and through techniques. We use bilateral work, we use tapping, we use art based work. Might use a little bit of Lego. I should put Lego on there as well, shouldn't I? But it isn't. Let's talk about it. Eventually, we are able to express, but we can express in so many ways. You can express through art. As long as you are able to see your own work, your subconscious will know. And then your conscious will know. 
and change happens. So going to the strategies, I have created body based and emotional regulation strategies. These are a mixture of things that you can do um, with the child and sort of looking and watching and things you can do with, when you're not in front of the computer or laptop or phone. So sensory motor circuits, little video on how to do it. Our objectives regulate the nervous system, regulate and give the body an opportunity to regulate itself by lateral. Don't underestimate the power of bilateral integration, crossing midline. If you can't cross the midline through whatever form, so I'm going to do boxing. I don't think I'd win in a competition, but there we go. If we can't do, do that, how can we read? How can we write? It's, it's so, so important. So if I am unable to cross my midline, I'm going to get very frustrated at school because that's reading, writing, copying from the board. Do I have core strength and postural stability? That's in there. If I don't, I'm going to be struggling. I'm going to be exhausted. So lots of objectives in here that's covered. There's lots of lovely little videos. There are five, one for each day, have the weekend off and you follow along. It isn't me. You'll be pleased to know. Okay, so if you're a personal trainer watching it, you'll understand it's so much more than the exercise. I will be running training on um, sensory uh, circuits, so watch out for that. But it won't be me. Actually, it will be uh, it'll be someone else that I will I'll be bringing in who uh, will be able to help us understand that a little bit more and pick it apart. You have restorative yoga. Restorative yoga is activating. These have been selected because they activate the parasympathetic system. We want our children and young people to be able to activate the parasympathetic, not engage in fight, flight, freeze, which is your sympathetic. So we want to kind of turn that one off, put this one on and we do it through body based. So again, there's a whole selection down there. We are looking at tailored positions, easy to incorporate into every day, the end of a day, cool down, calm time. Don't know what I'm doing that for. It's those sorts of um, times that we are able to encourage them um, to do these breath work. Let's go on to the breath work. So I would recommend that whilst doing, you look at the guided strategies. So this is, these are adult led. It's, it, it is. I never wanted the site, the, the members area to be a off you go and do it yourself because that's that's not teaching social engagement and people and trusting people and knowing that people are there to help. That's off you go and, and work it out and solve problems on your own because there's nobody there. We don't want that in life. We want young people to grow up feeling that somebody's always going to be there to help them if they need it. So breath work, meditations, bilateral, um, applied relaxation technique, grounding, vagus nerve and tapping. You will have, these are me, I know, it is what it is. So you have here a selection of parasympathetic activating techniques. Okay, I go through the why we do it together it's that sort of thing, what it is, the reason you're doing it, and let's have a go. Going down. Okay, lots on this, isn't there? That's why I wanted to offer you lots of choice. Regulating music. This music has been carefully created. These are theta based music. It's a tone that the body loves. It's very calming for the nervous system. 
that's what I wanted to achieve. So I've made these, these are all licensed. I've made these so that you can access them and put them in the toolbox of the everyday. It's not about the toolbox of, um, I'm dysregulated, I get, let's do it now. It's let's put it in our every day. So it becomes a habit and it goes into that part of our brain called the hippocampus, the memories. So that when that emotional chimp is like activated and like, I am freaking out right now, we can soothe it by remembering and the wise part of us, the wise owl part of us, it's all right, I'm only going to do three, can say, when you listen to this music, it's calming. Do you remember? And that will happen, but it needs to be part of the everyday. It needs to be part of a pattern, a habit. So lots and lots of lovely video, music. I oh, that one's my favorite. They are, um, some of them are short because they're just part of a beginning of an intervention, you know, a beginning of a session. Maybe it's just part of a yoga. And as soon as it's finished, that yoga position's finished. Some of them are a little bit longer, like the hour. Keep going, floating bubbles, pyramid. Dry music, there we go. White noise. White noise is a great um, noise, great sound to have in the background. So where the sort of times I'd use it there is an hour is having it on when the young person might be coming in from school and they just want to decompress and rightly so. Okay, so heightened, sitting, eating snacks, and just having that on. I know that some people like to um, put the television on and that's fine too, by the way, but if there's any kind of pause and then that's great. It's that pause, that pause of I can self soothe without anything to do it for me because we, we need young people and children to be able to pick themselves up and go into different situations and do the pause. We don't have a television in, in every setting, in every school, in every life experience, do we? So we have to be careful of our habits, but we can have this on a phone where we're just listening to it and having it on the background and just doing that pause. The brown noise, I like the brown noise. That's evidence-based, helps ADHD brains. It's like, for me, it sounds like rain. Everybody, I listen to it, it's going, oh, that's rain. Um, I won't play it because it won't give you the, the true sound. It won't come through properly. And I would hate for you to go, oh, that's rubbish. Um, it's very, very soothing. Then you have, this is the last part. You have a development, neurodevelopmental library, helplines, top tips. So in the library, I have um, covered these areas, as you link through, they go to big organizations that cover those concepts. I'm social emotional health. I do, as you know, in the training, cover some areas, but um, I do want it to be focused on those two areas. These are free helplines, lots and lots free services available especially if your young person is struggling with their identity struggling with being in their body self-harm struggling with sleep and um, although the training will help uh, suicidal we have to be aware and there are lots of uh, charities out there free charities so that is your membership it is a beautiful thing i have to say i'm very very proud of it because it addresses the fundamental things that we need knowledge practical give me give me the knowledge so i understand give me the practical so i can do it and then the support just in case i'm not 100 percent sure i've done it right that's that's what this will achieve for you
Enjoy.